Bud is just an example of the sector of society wanting to express themselves on Canterbury walls. He has requested to keep his identity hidden in order to ensure no possible consequences are taken against his artwork. He says his art contains a message people just don't want to hear. People don't want to think about governments being corrupt and, and the police and so on. So it's just a case of, you know, people are ignorant. In the past decade, we have seen an increase in the street art being showcased in galleries all around the world. Well, I, I think it's good. Um, obviously, anything, anything or you can get paid to do something that you enjoy is it, fantastic. However, when graffiti makes its way into art exhibitions, many feel there are double standards when it comes to regulations. People, people see you know, something on the wall in, in, in our gallery and it, it's art, but people see it on a street you know, and they see spray paint, it's just instantly like the worst thing in the entire world. Bud feels that current laws against street art are too strict. He explains how he feels these guidelines are outdated in our current society. And at the end of the day, we're just doing something that you know, we want to be involved with something that we we feel is expressing us, and you know, I think the fact that people are, are in situations where they can get charged and arrest, like arrested, for just you know putting their opinions out, it's like it's not very modern, is it? Are legal graffiti walls the answer? Many people feel providing such areas will resolve the problems many graffiti artists face. We can put our stuff up, and, and that we have this channel to do it, and I think it, overall that's that's going to work out a lot better. People aren't going to be getting in trouble for it. There's going, to, there's going to be a place for people to express themselves. With the rise of artists such as Banksy in the last 10 years, it's no wonder people are taking to the streets to express themselves in forms of art such as this one. It's a controversial debate among many people whether graffiti is art or whether it's mindless vandalism. We asked the public whether they thought graffiti was a form of art. 73.5% said it was and only 36% believed police should be more harsh.